Hello, I'm from the University of Regensburg, Department of Organic Chemistry. All of you that were watching the TV series Breaking Bad probably know what the organist chemists are doing. Uh, <laughs> cooking and baking. This is not far from the truth, really, because making organic molecules really is like cooking and baking. What are the organic molecules? It's some carbon backbones on which you have some functional groups which have different reactivities. Uh, using my uh, analogy, uh, let's say that in my molecule I have one functional group that is behaving like Schweinshaxen, another one that is behaving like cookies, and another one which is behaving like omelette. So, uh, I put everything in an oven, I want to make reaction with the Schweinshaxen, so I want to cook it. Uh, all right, I heat it up 220 degrees for hours, that's what I need for the Schweinshaxen. And what I get afterwards? Well, I get very nice Schweinshaxen. Uh, but what happened uh, to my omelette and to my cookies? Uh, they don't look so great. And this is really what happens uh, to some organic molecules when you try to do this. Uh, as you transform some of the functional groups, the other ones can get destroyed by the heat, and then you get something like this. So what we do instead of heating is that we use a little trick, we use light. Uh, light is uh, good because it uh, is selective. It just goes for one functional group uh, and it leaves the others. So it's a little bit like uh, Bavarian going to a beer garden. Uh, he doesn't see the cookies on left, he doesn't see the uh, omelette on the right. He just goes straight ahead for a and with the beer. Uh, and this is indeed how the light works. So what we do is we take the light, uh, the light transfers the energy to the photocatalyst, and then the photocatalyst transfers the energy to our molecule, which then reacts. Well, you might ask, why are we doing it in such a complicated manner? Why don't we just take the light and shine on our molecules and make the reaction why we need the photocatalyst? Well, the reason is very simple. If you look here, I brought three very common organic molecules. This one you can buy in uh, the grocery shop. Uh, it's sugar. This one you can buy uh, in a pharmacy. Yeah, everybody knows aspirin. And this one, uh, people are trying to smuggle from Czech Republic uh, <laughs> through the border. Uh, you see, all of these compounds have one thing in common. They are white powder. This is a problem, because uh, as we are using visible light, white stuff doesn't absorb any visible light. So that's a trouble, because then it cannot transfer any energy to our molecules. Therefore, with normal more organic molecules like this, we cannot do anything. That's why we use photocatalyst. This is the photocatalyst I'm using very, very colorful, and this absorbs the visible light and then can transfer the energy to our molecules. So this is, in our research group, how we use visible light, photocatalysis, to make new organic molecules in a selective way. Thank you for your attention.